Are you ready? Are what do, you guys ready? For what, this public announcement? Yeah. What do you got to tell everybody? <laughs> Let us know. How many McDonald's does the Mazda fit? How are they going to put a Tesla in space when they could have just gave me one? Yeah. Yeah. Think about that. I mean, we're a little late to the discussion here exactly, but, you know, because that was like a while ago. But, yeah, why? Yeah. Why? And, uh, Elon Musk. vote or something. If I, if you guys think I should get a Tesla, you need a vote. I'm sure he'll catch on. Just, you know. Yeah. You want Tesla? Yeah. Okay. There's Tesla. All right, Tesla's yeah. for everybody. Yeah, if they're just handing them out. I don't know what this is on my knee. Oh, man. Oh. Shh, they're done. Roasted. And, wait, do I get punched or does everyone else get punched? Got like a thousand people. Oh, damn. One shot. That's record right there. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Uh, we're on the Nomadic King channel. James Showers. I got AJ Lewis playing on his phone back there. What's up? We're about ready to take a look at this big old shop out on this guy's property. <laughs> the dogs and stuff oh. chasing us and everything. It's cool. Well, it's, huge. it's a good sized shop, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, Finn, she's got a bunch of crap in here. So I hate doing homeowner stuff because I always have their crap in here already. Like, dude, I gotta work around all this. You know that, right? Yeah, what? We gotta work around all that crap. That's what I'm saying. I yeah, hate that. Okay. All right. It doesn't even look like he's got it fully built. He's adding some something going on here in a minute. Hmm. What's up, everybody? You ready for your afternoon walkthrough of this shop? Well, you better be because it's about ready to happen. Got myself some protein puck. Doesn't look so appetizing, but. It ain't too bad. All right, let's take a look at what, see what we've done. We started about 7.30. It's 12.30 right now. Uh, we took one little quick break, and uh, everyone's going into town to grab lunch because the one day we don't pack lunch is the one day we're working, like, out of town. <laughs> so let me flip you guys around. All right. Coming on in here, we still have all this lid to do. They have an 8-foot scaffold is what they brought us. So they're bringing us out a regular 10-foot scaffold. It's a little easier to get the... Uh, 12 foot sheets. They raised the ceiling up, you can't really see it. So that's probably gonna be a pain in the butt when we get there. And they're gonna have the garage doors in. I'm not gonna drop these ones. Normally I'll grab like an impact driver and dry, drop these doors and set them back. But I'm just gonna notch around them, make it nice and clean, and they can just uh, tape finish out the rest of that. There's basically your two options with those, so. Um, we're stacking these walls because look how they have a uh, is something going on with my thing? All right, we're back. I think I had some smudges going on in my camera. All right, now that we can see, without smudges, I'll try not to chew and smack my lips while I'm talking to you guys. Sorry about that. All right, everybody's in town. Grab me a chocolate milk. We had 144 half-inch sheets to start with, so that's cool. It's all half-inch. Um, AJ did the ceiling up there, the lid, and brought it out to a good little spot so we can... You know, got a nice clean line we can continue off of. He took care of uh, the ceiling down there, and he's starting to take care of the walls. Um, I started stacking all this stuff with with Paul. They're all stand-ups on the outside. Cause it's like one of these pole barn styles where they uh, frame it like sideways. I don't know why they do that, but someone probably knows structure or something. This guy's got this giant safe in here. It's snowing, guys. Um, yeah, they got these... Look at these little columns all the way around. I ended up wrapping all of them. I think I'm just going to do that, so I have to come back out here. And, yeah, this is going to be like their kitchen. I'm pretty sure he has this kind of hidden in the wall. I don't think he's supposed to have a kitchen here, but he is going to have a kitchen. And yeah, here's a bunch of shelves right here that he took off because he he's going to put them up later, I guess. Um, what else we got? That's it. Basically stacked all this. Flip you guys around, stacked all that, and then uh, took care of all this. Bunch of stand ups. Just an easy, it's pretty gravy. Look at these columns though, they're gonna look sweet once they're all taped out. Yeah. What a nice shop, huh? 
Look at that, four bays. This is a guy that owns TK Painting. He left in a really nice truck, and then he's got a really nice truck in his driveway that just pulls his toys around, I'm sure. Comment down below. Whatever you want to comment, obviously, but, you know. Are you guys rich? <laughs> you guys rocking two trucks, one for your toys and one for uh, just driving around? I'd like to know. Comment down below. And, uh, yeah. Okay, guys. That's it. I'll see how far we get today. We still don't have the scaffold. I'm going to make something here and kind of finish this little top area to get that out of the way. And Like I said, stack up the rest of these things when everyone gets back and we'll have a little screw-off party. There'll probably be a little bit of lid left over in the morning. I'll send a couple guys out here to take care of that while we go start a house. And that's it, man. I'll talk to you guys in a minute. Peace. <laughs> see what I mean? Toys. Toys. Uh, I'd play with it. Toys. Mm. All right. Oh, yeah, I got a flat tire the other day. Quickest change ever, dude. I'm pretty good at changing tires. <laughs> I should join NASCAR. Let me see this thing. Dude. Well, my ballistic knife kind of broke, but... <laughs> Ballistic knife was trash. <laughs> Let me see that. That thing's dope, actually. This guy's technical. <laughs> this guy, he's ready to freaking snipe out some people in the woods. Hey, I've got military training. Let me see the front and the, the white side of that. Because you got all the cool stuff drawn on it. Not too much cool stuff. I just put. <laughs> well, yeah, but cool. Dude, comment down below. How did Squanch do on his. What is that? An AK 47? There's an AR-15, man. I don't, I don't know, man. I'm not a gun guy. AK-47. AK-47 with a... Dude. Internet, so. It was a good day. Squanch didn't have to use his AK. <laughs> <laughs> as as you know. He brings it to work just in case, though. Uh. He didn't even have to use his AK. It's awesome. And after only, huh? All right, this is what we got going on today. We're at the end of the day. It's like 5.15 right now. We're gonna leave some of our stuff here because we're in the middle of nowhere. We got this last, so you get zoomed in. We got this last little section of lid here to do. Uh, like one, two, three, four, five, six, I don't know, maybe five rows, six rows. They're about four sheets long. Uh, do the math, there's like 20, 25 sheets left to do. We gotta do a bunch of tops. Cruising across that. Um, Paul got most of this stuff screwed off. We just have a little bit left to do in the morning. I'm wrapping all these beams. They look super cool. That's basically it. Um, didn't do too bad. 110 sheets today. Who we got over here? Paul V. Oh, this is gonna dagger. What's up, Paul? Tell us a story, bud. How'd you get that shirt? Where'd you get that shirt? That's an internet sensation. Oh damn. You guys have a Walmart near you? Has anyone ever been to a Walmart before? Have you seen this shirt? <laughs> what do we got going on? Put it back in your holster. Sheath that thing. Whoa, dude. I don't need to die today. Whoa, crap. Hold on to your British subscribers. <laughs> you look thoroughly amused. All right, better settle it down. We're gonna get kicked out of here. Trying to, we're going up Sunnyside Road right now, and I'm trying to get this sunset over here. <clears throat> when we we're going through the trees, it was clearing out a little more, and you could see it. It looks so, so cool, because the mountain's back there. Heading out to this shop out here on Sunnyside Road. Oh, Pretty cool. On the sunny side of town, are we? Yeah. All right. So let's get this thing done. Do we have another house to start? Yeah. AM inspections happening. Cool. Well, we got most of this all tied up today. We're short sheets. We got four eight footers that we have to order for the morning to finish out this face, which kind of sucks. We're pretty much done. And yeah, we'll take care of that. Some window wraps in the morning. 
The lid turned out pretty good. It's got this little pop-up up here. It's kind of a pain in the butt. Not too bad. It's looking pretty sweet. The homeowner is satisfied, so that's all you need to know. Uh, I'll try to show you the final couple pieces put together in the morning. But if I don't, then too bad. I'll just say goodbye now, just in case. This just for a haircut. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, guys?